welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kareem, where I go by KAC. Um, thank you for taking your time out to watching, you know, to just clicking on this video. Uh, basically, my videos are, like I said in my description, they're gonna be shot in a cab, in a truck cab. I drive semi trucks for a living for right now, and I've been doing so for over a year. And I didn't want to be one of those videos or one of those vloggers or one of those people on YouTube where, you know, they start, they record what they go, and then they like quit. I wasn't sure if I would have liked trucking. You know what I mean? I have goals, I have dreams, I have stuff that I want to accomplish, but you know, now that it's been about a year, you know, I, I, I would say like I enjoy, I enjoy, you know, being out here. So come with me, let's slide. You know what I mean? Let's slide, let's, let, let's slide for a few minutes and let's talk about where I came from and what I've been through and what I experienced here. I. I know they form say I too like yours. No con they form say you do like us. You know get the time for the hate and the bad energy. Come my mind on my money. Make you dance like broccoli. Steady green like broccoli. Standing on my grind. What's up? Like I said, this is your boy KC, and y'all tapped into the sliders. You know what I mean? Y'all tapped into the sliders, and what we're gonna do in all my videos, we're gonna make sure we slide, and when we slide, we, we, we just we just roll it. You know what I mean? So. Like I said, I wanted to, you know, do a video, let y'all know who I am, where I'm from, you know, let y'all know a little bit about me, so y'all ain't just listening to a complete stranger. I mean, yeah, I guess I am a, I am, I am a stranger because, I mean, half of y'all ain't meet in person or ever meet at all, but we could create a little bond virtually, right? Right? Comment, share, you know what I mean? Subscribe, and we, we'll figure out something. But anyway, like I said in this video, um, I wanted to tell y'all where I come from. So I started, I worked at a, I'm going to go back too far, but a year ago, I worked as a maintenance technician at an apartment complex. Worked my way up, became a supervisor, and the pay kind of plateau. Now, I have a couple friends that drove uh, trucks, this one specific. I look up to him, he's a big homie. Name Big Mike, and you know, I talked in with him. Was talking about stuff. He was telling me why I should, and you know, what I mean, the potential that I could, and then the money. You know, what I mean, people talked about the money, and I was like, oh shoot, like you know, you know, more money don't always mean more problems if you know what he's doing. So I was like, you know what? Let me look into it. Let me let me start doing the research and everything. Research, found a truck school. I went to Roadmaster in Orlando, Florida, and. Been there. That process was is what it was. You know, very militant. Very. Uh, you gotta be there on time. If you're not early, if you're too late, too many times, they'll kick you out the school. You know, um, I'll get more in depth if 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 y'all interested in hearing it. I'll make a video breaking down my experience with Roadmaster and everything like that. And um, it's not a plug video. It's just a truck school. And um, I'm not plugging or I'm not shouting out to them. I'm not, you know, sponsored by them or nothing. But, um, you know, that's just a school I went to in Orlando, Florida. And that experience in itself was pretty good. You know, I showed up on time. I didn't have a problem or anything. They put me up in a hotel, yada, yada, yada. Blah, 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 blah. That's not why y'all here right now. So after I graduated, I got my uh, CDL. Now I am a... Uh, Commercial. I have my commercial driver's license, a Class A license, and I can drive a combination vehicle up to 80,000 pounds on the roads of America. All right, let's just be specific. I can drive an 80,000 pound combination vehicle um, in America. So the first company I went to after getting my CDL uh, was Warner Enterprise. Very good company. You know, they trained me. They taught me what I needed to do. 
you know, I, I YouTube, you know, I, I was I was on here, man. I was on here learning from, you know, all these other people on YouTube. I don't want to shout, shout them out just yet because I don't know how they are and you say their names. So, you know, uh, learning a lot. When I worked for them for about four or five months, um, I was over the road solo because I don't know y'all be team driving. That's another story in itself. You know, and I liked it. I was over the road. Um, went home every bi-weekly because, you know, it doesn't make sense making money if you can't enjoy it, which I've, I'm a firm believer of that. But when I, what ended up happening with that company was I wasn't making money. I mean, I was running. I mean, I was trying to, you know, I was here. You know, I was available. I would have to wait for loads and da da da. Like I said, there's a lot of videos. If y'all want me to go in depth with all that stuff, I can. I can piece it up. But I just didn't want to be one of those other truck videos uh truck um truck um um channels i just want to get in here we talk about some stuff and you know what i mean but anyway um fast forward to i went with another company martin transport very good company home weekly um something i could stay out i was out for a week at a time or i stayed out i can stay out as long as i want um and that was like that, that was like that was a great company that was a good company. The pay wasn't bad, and um, you know that was a good company. Stayed there for a few months, and as I progressed, you know I wanted to change the scenery. You know I, I had my I got my doubles and triples um, endorsement. I got my tanker endorsement. Um, I just wanted to keep adding notches to my belt because you know I didn't want to be driving a dry van and miss out on all the money potentials. Or you know, so then I fast forward. Went to FedEx um, under a under a uh, under a contractor, and I pulled two trailers. I pulled you know three trailers. Like you know we pull them trailers. You know what I mean? We pull the little shorty joints. We pull the full size joints. We pay, we pull three or two of the short joints, and it was fun. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, that was teams. Uh, I'll say I'll say I got bamboozled for that one because I, it was supposed to be solo, and then they they said something like, "Oh, it's teams and blah blah blah." blah, blah. I like my space, you know what I mean? I like my space, which led me here. I'm with this company. I'll hold on to saying the name for for a minute because you know I'm doing this stuff, and I'll just hold off for a second. Which leads me to this point. This point right here. I'm driving and all the months and I, you know, it's, like I said, it's been a year of me driving. And I'm here and the reason, and here's why I created this channel. This channel, there needed to be somebody in the game, somebody in the trucking game that could, that would be able to talk about regular human topics, all right? We have human friends. You know what I mean? We're not loners. Yeah, I'm talking to y'all, but I'm really, you know, I'm talking to myself, but I'm talking to y'all. Y'all can get to hear it one way or the next. If I wasn't talking to y'all, I would be on the phone running my mouth with somebody. And they would have had to hear this. So, you know, why not? Instead of word vomiting on one person, I'll just vomit on everybody. <laughs> but anyway, um, like I said, I didn't want to be one of those typical truck channels that shows you this, shows you that. You know what I mean? There's a lot of guys out there that are very good at what they do. They have better equipment and everything. I'm here to talk about regular human conversations. Conversations and topics that maybe people don't want to talk about. Maybe you do want to talk about it, but there's nobody with the, the guts to talk about it. And, you know, I'm going to be transparent about certain things because, you know, like I said, this is... This is this is uh, a social entertainment platform, so I don't want to be out here telling y'all all my business. But I, I am gonna get pretty transparent with y'all, and if some of y'all, you know, some of y'all will be able to pick up on what I'm putting down when I say certain things. So, you know, I want to make sure that you know on this channel, y'all could come, y'all could slide with me. Not talking about y'all could come, y'all could, you know click like subscribe comment and everything and we'll have a conversation you know what i mean we're gonna be talking about 
everything on here. You know what I mean? We're going to be talking about laziness. We're going to be talking about productivity. We're going to be talking about everything. So, you know what? Thanks for listening. And we're going to just get to y'all at another video. And we're going to get to that with stuff. And we're going to have these conversations rolling. So, thanks for giving me a few minutes of y'all time. Like, comment, subscribe. If y'all want to be a part of the Slide Network, let me know. Alright? Peace.